Uh, I'd like I'd like to leave a little accompanying message to the tape. I hope lots of you send music through. This for this one, it just had four so far, but there were a few other people who I think got in touch, showed interest. So yeah, if you want music on the tape, just just send it through, and I'll put it on next month's edition. And a little message I'd like to leave alongside the tape would be to read an excerpt from the Imagination of Chris Peacock essay. For those of you who haven't read it, I'll link it. Uh, it's on Pink Kudu Big Cartel. I think lots of you would share the same similar sentiments and share the same ideas that I expressed in the essay. So I'll leave a, read a little bit because I think it applies quite well to the music that was shared. Because I thought some of it was pretty pretty good, obviously. Uh, but like I said, I'm not I'm not here to comment or or say which song's good, which one, which song specifically was good or not good. But I thought I was impressed by the quality of the music. So I'll give I'll read this little excerpt. Given the overwhelming amount of music available to us, it can be hard to contextualise and make sense of the music we come across, especially when so much of it is homogenous and derivative. The majority of artists that do receive acclaim and notoriety do so arbitrarily, with few people attempting to analyse their music. To the casual listener, this is no problem. Music made by artists such as Kuko, Clara, Rex Orange County and others is well made and enjoyable to listen to. Having said this, the, there's thousands of people their age who do the same thing, like I showed in the with the tape, and I think it will be exemplified with the tape. Yeah, thousands of other people their age doing the same thing, leading me to my point that the success of these artists is not based is not determined by the strength of their music, but rather by the connections that they have. Uh, and then I expand on this in the essay and say that I don't have too big a problem with connections, but basically we have to call them out for doing something that isn't really that impressive um, given that there's lots it's quite easy to um, make music in a style that everyone already likes and it's not particularly creative you know it's just copying making good I don't know making a if you wanted to rip off a song completely that's okay not that they're ripping off a song I'm just saying that you see in the essay I think I, I really get it down to a T in the essay but basically what I'm showing is that there's a glut there's a real wealth of people that make music that is of a similar standard to those artists that I mentioned and there's plenty of others as well so yeah please read the essay and send me stuff if you want your music shared uh, I really enjoy it in fact this month we only had four so it's not as though you have to share currently at the moment with too many other people so hopefully you're more likely to get noticed um, but yeah thank you um, I'll, I'll be back in a week with some more, more content